Hey guys, Steve here from Nostalgia. Just putting that uh, video together on how to remove the text and the Raspberry Pi logos from the beginning of your boot sequence. Um, we looked at the last, uh, in the last video, we looked at uh, installing a spat splash screen and we wanna remove that text that comes up just before it. So it's pretty easy, you can do it one of two ways. You can either log in through PuTTY, um, but you need to make sure that your Raspberry Pi and your computer are connected to the same network and that your Raspberry Pi is on. Your other option is to plug in a keyboard to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, when you get to your main menu, press F4, and that'll take you into the terminal. But today I'm gonna to be using PuTTY. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up PuTTY and type in RetroPi with a capital R on Retro and a capital P on Pi and hit open. Now it's going to ask for a login. The login username is Pi, P-I, and the password is Raspberry, and you're gonna hit enter. And that is gonna be your stock username and password that is pre-installed with RetroPi. If you've changed it, you'll clearly need to use what you, the, uh, the credentials that you've changed it to. So now on the command line, you're gonna type in sudo slash nano, sorry, sudo space nano space forward slash boot forward slash cmd line dot txt and hit enter. Now what you need to do is just scroll through this until you find something that says console equals tty1. You're gonna remove the one, add a three, and what that specific section will do will remove or it'll hide the text. And then if you scroll all the way to the end, right after enable equals zero, you'll hit space and you'll type in logo dot no logo. And what that will do is it'll remove those Raspberry Pi symbols, the four symbols along the top left. Now you need to exit, so you'll hit Control X. It'll ask you if you want to save it, so you'll hit Y for yes. It'll ask you to name the file. You'll wanna leave it exactly how it is uh, written. You'll just hit enter, and that's it. So now what we need to do is just do sudo space reboot to restart our Raspberry Pi. And once that's done, I'll actually connect into the Raspberry Pi and show you what the boot looks like now. Okay guys, here we are. So now I'm just gonna show you what that reboot sequence looks like right on the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna hit start, we're gonna scroll down to quit, we're gonna hit enter, and we're gonna restart the system and we're gonna go for it. So there it is. That's how you remove that text and the icons from the beginning of the boot sequence. That's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. I've got lots more coming out. If you got any questions or if you guys have any suggestions, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. But other than that, that's all I got for you for today. Thanks guys, bye.